Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will check this magnetic, electric and radio frequency field meter that I got. Let's see what's inside the box. We have the instruction manual. Also, of course, we have the, the equipment. This is a rechargeable device. So you also have the core. It is USB to micro USB connector. So you can use your cell phone charger in order to charge your device. Here we have the specifications. This is model ER02 from the Eric Hill company. And as you can see, we can measure radio frequency, which is a signal, for example, from your cell phone or radio signals and TV signals, units of milliwatts per square meter. And this is the range of frequency from one megahertz up to 10 gigahertz. Also, you can measure electric fields for example, in order to find where you have an energized cable and we can also use it to measure magnetic fields. You can check the power of a magnet or an electromagnet using this equipment. So let's see how it works. Okay, let me turn it on and first I will use the device to measure magnetic fields. Here you can see the units, micro teslas. With this button you can change the units to milligauss, but are useful for measuring magnetic fields. So first let me use this small ferrite magnet. It's a low power magnet. So you can see here we are having a value of around 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Here we have the value that we are measurement measuring at the moment and here peak is the average in the last three seconds now we have this button here that gives the maximum value during all the measuring process okay now let's use another magnet. This is a neodymium magnet, more powerful. Here we have a field of around 1.1, 1 1.5, 1 .1 micro teslas. This other magnet, more powerful. almost three micro teslas maximum value let's see 2.86 and this is the more powerful magnet that i have now it is smaller than the other one but is a better grade so let's see more than four micro teslas even five maximum value 5.46 micro teslas the only thing that i regret from this device is that it will not give you the polarity is the same value using north or south pole only the magnitude is measured if you use the electric field setting you can check for the presence of an electric field here we have around 26 volts per meter and if you move away it will go to a lower value. The final setting is 
to measure electromagnetic fields. Here we have milliwatts per square meter. And we can check, for example, our modem. If we go close to the modem, we have a higher value, 15, 20 milliwatts per square meter. That goes to a lower value when we are away from the modem. Okay, now I'm going to try to measure electric field, but uh, from a DC source. Here I have my DC power supply. I'm going to turn on the device in the mode of measuring electric field. Now you have to be careful because this will detect the signals that are coming directly from the circuitry inside the power supply. Remember that this uses AC current that is transformer and filtered to obtain DC. So I'm going to put this away so that we only have... Okay, now we have... zero volts per meter. You can always put to zero in order to eliminate the ambient measuring. For that you press the sound button and then the hold button and it will zero your measure. Okay, now with the power supply at its maximum value, 30 volts, Let's see, we have a measurement. Okay. So it seems that we are obtaining a value from the DC voltage. However, remember that this is not 100% pure DC because the power supply converts the AC to DC and then it is filtered but there is always some AC noise present. So I want to check if we can detect pure DC, for example from a battery. So now, now I'm going to disconnect my power supply. We have 0 volts per meter and then a 9 volt battery. There is no measurement, so I'm not sure if the voltage is too low or it will not detect pure DC at all. The instruction manual doesn't have enough information on that subject, so it remains unknown if a pure DC can be measured with this device.